hello everyone welcome back to another topic of evolution so today we are going to discuss about the miller and your experiment that is also called the primordial soup theory so why it is called primordial soup theory actually first of all the operin and the handle they thought that with the mix of the gases that is the nitrogen carbon hydrogen ammonia methane in the atmosphere could give rise to amino acids so it is called soup as it is a mixture of the organic compounds then the miller and urey they thought that they thought to test the occurrence of the chemical origin of life so the question is can organic compounds be generated under the conditions similar to those that existed on primeval earth so we know that the primitive earth is supposed to be the reducing type the meteors brought the organic compound it occurred spontaneously there are many theories about the origin of life so let's discuss the experiment they create a apparatus and the apparatus as you can see the apparatus consists of the glass tubes the electrodes the heat source then the condenser that is for the cooling the glass flax the vacuum pump etc so the idea is to test the reducing atmosphere by creating a oceanic compartment and a atmospheric chamber and providing the lighting strikes so that the amino acids could probably generate so they successfully created conditions resembling the primitive atmosphere of the earth and so that amino acids and other complex organic compounds can be formed when the mixture of water vapors methane ammonia and hydrogen gases in a closed chamber is exposed to electric discharge for few days so you can see in this picture this is the oceanic compartment where the water kept for boiling this is the water level and this is the boiling chamber they have provided a heat source then the water vapor we generate it moves in this direction so the direction of circulation of water vapor is in this direction and this is the oceanic compartment and this is the condition just like the primitive atmosphere which contains the ammonia methane water and they sent a electric discharge or electric spark to the chamber to generate a condition just like the lightning in this way by the help of condenser the hot water goes out and the cool water enters the electric discharges produce the effect of violent electrical storms during lightning in early atmosphere and result in the formation of the amino acids and other complex organic compounds which are the components of the living system so at last the amino acids are collected and other organic compounds also appear after a few days so the accumulation of organic compounds in the soupy sea was possible before there were living things because there were no bacteria and molds and no living things which could bring about their decay and there was no free oxygen also that's why it is the reducing atmosphere so the experiment is the miller's apparatus for producing the amino acids under the primitive earth conditions by providing the mixture of gases and then exposed to high energy electric discharge electric spark and after a week time the water contained the cool water that contains the organic compounds which can be collected in a beaker so the aim of this experiment is to test the idea of reducing atmosphere and to test the occurrence of the origin of life by creating an environment which is resembled to the primitive atmosphere condition thank you for watching this video please do subscribe